Welcome to LT Vegan Living. My name is Gary, and today we're doing a little something a little different. Not a recipe, another product review, but a home product review, a review for the house. All right, so I ordered this box, and this inside this box, AJ, it's a gigantic mat for the rug that you see in front of you. And that's what this small little video is about. Welcome to LT Vegan Living, a whole food plant-based lifestyle. So the first thing we're going to do is it just came in this morning from Amazon.com is we're going to open it up. Now why am I getting this mat? Well I bought this rug for about like $60. I do believe, I'm sorry, at Sam's Club where I do most of my business and I thought what would be great is to add this rug in my bedroom. Now it didn't work. Rug on top of rug doesn't work unless it has a special mat. But even then it still didn't work. So. I bought this so that when you walk on it, it's not like hitting, not really hard. It's not like the living room rug that I spent several thousand at. This mat, this rug, like I, like I just said, didn't even cost $100. Now this mat is quite expensive. It's about $90. And the reason why I got it is because it's thick and it's going to add a lot more um, softness to the rug. Alright, so let me show you what it looks like. Okay. There's no instructions. And it's supposed to be a 8 by 10 rug. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this out of the way. Like so and put this out. It looks like it's gonna be a lot bigger than 8 by 10. Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter, it needs to get done. I have to move the camera around. Okay, and then we're going to open it up. Okay, so the rough part is going to go on the bottom. So, first, I guess we'll open it up entirely and flip it over. Of course, everything's in the way. A little harder when there's only one person doing it. I hope you're enjoying me as I'm struggling with my mat. I guess you need a large bigger area than what I have. I'm hoping to have some left over because I have another little rug in a hallway that I would like to uh, use this on. out the way I anticipated. So we just have to think out of the box. Okay.
like it's going to work fine. Now what I should have probably done is bought just the mat for this size. For some reason I did not get the right size. But it's going to work perfect for what I have planned. All right. So after this I'll have to cut it and I'll have an entire section over here on the left side of where, I, where my arm is at that's going to be used for another rug in our home that's also on a hard, work, hard surface like we, I'm standing on right now and it, it, it should soften it. And let's see how this feels. This has a little bit more give now. Before it felt like it was really, really hard. Okay, so now it's getting scissors and getting this done. Now the next step is to take, in this case I have a black sharpie and I'm going to run it over. Now what I did is I deliberately allowed extra size so it doesn't fit exactly. It's like I have four inches left on this side here and I'm doing that on purpose. So when my wife rolls over on a wheelchair, she won't run across a a hard mat. She'll have a little bit of the rug to go through. So what we're just going to do is we're just going to mark it and cut it after that. Okay, let me show you what that looks like. Let's kick this out of the way. Okay, and what we're going to do now is just sit on a, my butt and I'm going to just simply cut this out. Then I will fold the extra bit and I will put it in the garage until later when I do my next project. Uh, well, this is much thicker to, to cut than I anticipated. Let's see if I have bigger scissors. DJ's checking it out. He's stretching himself on it. He says it's a very good addition to the house. This just takes the time of cutting it and having your percentages roll over the top of it because it's something new. Oh yes, he wants a belly rub is what he's asking for.
Oh yeah, good boy. Now if I wasn't in my living room, I would have used a razor knife, but I'm not about to go and cut the, the wood just to get that done. All right, now to do the long side. I have to disturb the dogs for that. Do some work here. It's almost five o'clock and they're looking for dinner. Not quite fun. No, no, don't do that. No, no, don't bite the scissors. <laughs> I can see that's going to take a little longer time. Give me a few minutes here as I adapt to the new environment. So the last step actually is to just fold it. This will be used for a different purpose. I'm just going to fold it in. And then... could actually just leave it like that and just hold it flat. It's a little harder when you go against the grain here like that, like this, but it's all work. And I have a place for it in my garage and I can take care of this. And then this is for the, the rug that you've seen already. So then we just grab that rug. And that's it. So then what happens is, okay. So it's a little bit over this side. Okay, so it's perfect on this side, but we don't need it perfect on that side. We need it perfect on this side. That'll be against the furniture. So we just have to play with it until you get this where you want it at. There. This is a much softer rug now that we have padding underneath. And when I wear shoes, of course, it's going to be a lot more comfortable. And the idea is so that it's what the kids have been doing, my dogs, they run around here like 90 miles an hour. Okay, maybe not 90 miles an hour, but quite fast. And they skid across and they've been taking the rug with them. And I'm hoping that the pad with its roughness on the bottom prevents that from happening. <coughs> Pardon me. All right. So this concludes this very fast video how to put, basically put on the pad underneath an existing rug. What I probably should have done is measured the rug and gone exactly the size pad. It's always a little bit under because you don't want your pad to be larger than your rug. But I have a purpose for this because I have another runner in the other closet. I have another runner in the other hallway that I can put that on 
and keep everything nice and smooth. Okay, so this end this video. Thank you very much for watching and we'll have more for you soon. Bye-bye now. Yeah, that turned out really good. Du, 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 du. Okay, now we just have to put all the chairs back. I hope that this chair will go over it easily. Okay, so that's that.